I'm Ms. Boreas. And I'm Tiana Daquano with the Louisiana Office of Student Financial Assistance, also known as LOSFA. For the next two minutes, we will share how LOSFA programs truly serve students and families across the state of Louisiana. Our mission at LOSFA is to promote, prepare for, and provide equity of college access to Louisiana students and their families. By creating a well-rounded environment, students receive constant support and face-to-face -face interaction through LOSFA programs. Our executive director, Dr. Suwan Butte, created LOSFA's five-point match to unlock students' career path to get paid for what they love to do. Because we know financial aid begins long before a student has to pay for college. Transforming opportunities for students requires talent and know-how. To equip students with opportunities to validate their career match, we promote scholarships and information through text messaging, media campaigns, and our Financial Literacy for You Tour, also known as the Fly Tour. We prepare students for success by exposing scholars to the link between experiential learning, academics, and careers through our summer learning programs, supported dual enrollment, and business and industry visits. And we provide additional financial support through the Louisiana Go Grant, the Start Saving Program, and TOPS Tech, which can be used in a technical or approved academic program at a two or four year institution, making college more affordable for all students. As you can see, our outreach goes beyond the TOPS program. To promote, prepare, and provide equity of college access for Louisiana students, LOSFIP also administers the Louisiana Gaining Early Awareness and Readiness for Undergraduate Program, a federally funded initiative commonly referred to as Louisiana Gear Up. Through a match of state dollars, Louisiana Gear Up aims to increase the number of low-income middle and high school students who are prepared to enter and succeed in post-secondary education. Through Louisiana Gear Up's Connect to Success initiative, students are able to connect classroom lessons to career choices by offering opportunities to job shadow, intern, and career plan. The initiative also expands credentialing and business and industry visits. To be a part of this work, it is an honor and a privilege to help students show up to college focused, prepared, and ready to succeed. For more information about the work we do at LOSFA, visit mylosfa.la.gov. I am Darren Smith Jr. and I serve as the media specialist for the Louisiana Office of Student Financial Assistance. Today we're at our final stop of the Spring 2020 Fly Tour, Financial Literacy for You is what Fly stands for. This whole event has been going on for the past two weeks in order to help students that we service throughout the state, understand financial literacy, understand tops, understand college and career readiness, understand workforce development, and different things to provide experiential learning opportunities for our students so that they can make decisions about their futures from today on beyond. It has been so much fun. I got a chance to meet over 2,000 students over the past two weeks. We've had fun. We helped them meet their match and ultimately just see new opportunities and new ways to reach their goals and dream big. That's the main thing that I wanted them to take away from it is to dream big. Don't be limited to anything that you feel that you can't do. This year we created a whole new show entitled the Meet Your Match Game Show in efforts to get students physically and interactively involved with us on stage and also with the information that we're presenting. The Meet Your Match Game Show takes us on a journey through the loss of five point match which is created by our executive director Dr. Suwan Butte and it helps students see what they're good at their academic matches, their cost of choice matches, their social and emotional matches, all decisions related to how they get in, stay in, and graduate from college. And that's one thing we really want to capitalize on. It's never too early for you to start thinking about your future. I'm Elizabeth Laurent, and I'm a senior at STEM Magnet Academy of Point Coupe, and I attended the Lost Book Fly Tour today. It was an event to learn about a local college, to learn about TOPS, FAFSA, about scholarships and grants, and just all kinds of financial aid to prepare us for college. I thought it was going to kind of be boring, and you know, when you think about financial aid and everything, it's like, 
oh, like you don't want to talk about it. But they really made it interactive and really fun for all of us and really made it tailored towards a high school age group. I really like the website to find your match and everything to make sure a certain college fits your interest and what you want. So for the younger grades, it should work well for them. For more information, visit unluckmyfuture.org. My name is Michael Bill, and I am in eighth grade, and I attend the Lost Book Live Before, when I just saw the words, I just thought it was going to be like, oh, you got to learn about this, and you got to learn about the next step. But actually, when I got here, it was actually a competition, basically. They also had social and emotional things, they had financial they had top, but it was more of a fun activity for people to get to answer questions that actually you are going to need and get fit for when you grow up. For more information, visit unlockmyfitcher.org. My name is Raul Manuel. I go to uh, FK White Middle School. Um, I'm in eighth grade, and today I attended the uh, law school black school. basically about college and what you need to know trying to get your tops fast with I, I need to make sure I get that situated they really involve you definitely the games it's it's something it's, it's really creative like I loved it it was really fun main thing is finances I want to go to a good college I definitely want to go into the uh the medical field you know I'm still I'm still thinking about it but I think that's what I want to do you know personally. For more information, visit unlockmyfuture.org. Hi, Growing up, all my, in my dad's family, they're all engineers. My dad's an agricultural engineer. I have two uncles, one's chemical, one's a civil. So like since very young, I had this idea of engineering. I think it has a lot to do with the way I was raised. My dad really did shape the way I kind of like view the world. I was given a more technical way of interpreting the world. You should definitely work with your strengths. And you know, generally people enjoy what they're good at. You know, that's how they got good at it. So I really do think it should be a combination of what you really like to do, what really you enjoy doing, what you're passionate about, and what you're good at. I really do enjoy my major. I like going to my classes. And I feel like the way I kind of tell it to myself is that an engineer has a very like, honorable role in society. I feel like its purpose is pretty much to like solve problems and solve people's problems and just like eight people in general. I'm Andres Arias and I'm a McNeese cowboy. For more information, visit unlockmyfuture.org. I think math has always been probably one of my, my better subjects. Math always kind of interested me the most, but I wasn't necessarily the STEM side of math. So I, I have an appreciation for engineering and computer science and those kind of things, but I never, I never wanted to make a career out of that or I never really wanted to pursue that. Like when, you know, from like my, when, I was a, when I was a kid, I, I always was, you know, counting coins and even most kids are asking for toys. I'd ask for a roll of quarters for my birthday. So I think it's pretty fitting that I was coming to finance as a degree choice. I honestly had really no clue what a syllabus was because it's much different in high school than in college. A syllabus in college is really your cheat sheet to the semester. Basically, any, any assignment that you're going to have throughout the semester, any due date, any concept that you're going to cover is going to be on that syllabus. Also, you know, the teacher's grading policies, their rules as far as when you turn things in and that kind of thing, it's all going to be on the syllabus. So it's, it's a cheat sheet and a resource guide for you to use throughout the semester. So on the first day of class, the one thing I always do is you need to read through that syllabus you know, front to back, read through it again, and then make some notes, highlight what's important, because if you get off to a great start, you're going to be, you're, you're going to have a good semester. I'm William Jewell, and I'm an LSU Tiger. For more information, visit unlockmyfuture.org. Hi, My path's a little bit different as a non-traditional student. I went to enlist into the Air Force, and so I did that. And then 20 years later, I'm here. Once I got out, 
I had the 9-11 Montgomery GI Bill. I decided to go ahead and utilize that. So I looked into the program here and they, had, they actually had what I wanted as far as drafting. So I decided to go into that. I moved back here, enrolled while I was still active duty, enrolled with them. And then when I, once I was retired, I was already a full-time student. One of the things that I found right quick was, you know, the cost of living and, you know, just being able to support yourself on your own, it, it, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy. You know, I have three kids. They still have needs, right? They still break glasses. They, they have band camp things that they have to do. So for me, uh, it was just living minimal, minimizing everything. I had to make some adjustments. And so looking at my finances that I had come in, the 9-11 GI Bill, so they pay our tuition and then they give us a stipend. And plus, I had my retirement and my VA funds coming in. So I looked at that income and budget, and I made cuts, putting myself on a budget. Yeah, I had uh, a support system, uh, and tapping into that support system greatly uh, allowed me to be able to maximize, you know, the other tools that I had. I am Shonka Williams, SGA president. I'm a CLTCC Bobcat. For more information, go to unlock.com.org. <laughs>
Fox, and in the summer of 2020, I was offered the chance to do the Rover Observation and Drone Survey Freestyle Challenge by NASA partnered with LA Gira. I thought that this would be a great experience to meet new people and to challenge myself. Our objective was to create a map for the rover to move about Mars. This rover would have to go over, under, and pick up objects. In the process of creating this map, my teammates and I got to know each other a little bit better. We figured out whose abilities worked best with which job. Once we did that, we worked together to create the map that we have now. I am so excited to see what Perseverance will do on Mars and find. Thank you so, so okay. much for this amazing award, and I hope to do more competitions right. like this in the future. Thank you so much. Okay. My name is Jai Gaines. I am 16 years old and I attend East St. John High School where I am currently a senior. And LA Gear has been a part of my life for about four to five years now. Um, I was first introduced to Ellie Garrett when my middle school started the Explorers Club, East St. John Preparatory Academy, when I was in seventh grade. And I was named president of that club. And I was also named state representative for the state of Louisiana. With being a part of LA Gear Up, I've been able to have multiple opportunities to reach out to professors, different college students, and just being able to know more about college before even getting into high school. I've been able to figure out what I want to do when I graduate this year with the help of LA Gear Up, and I've been able to pick out the schools that I'm interested in and the schools that are good for me with being a part of LA Gear Up. And I've also been able to bring awareness to other students in the school who may not know anything about college yet or they may not have been introduced to anything yet. So I've been able to share what I've learned from LA Gear Up and pass it on to them. My name is Trey Taylor, and I'm a loss for Trailblazer from Grand Lake High School. Hi, my name is Chris Modell. I'm a senior at Grand Lake High School, and I'm a loss for Trailblazer. After setting a college-going culture at our school, some challenges that could arise would be facing the busy schedule of a senior. With grades and college admissions, as well as sports, clubs, and other extracurricular activities, it would be very easy to set FAFSA completion and other financial aid applications to the side in order to face our everyday busy schedule. The information and training that LOSFA has provided us has been very useful to establish a college-going culture at our school. Using what we learned from LOSFA, we've been able to show others the importance of preparation for college and help them realize the importance of completing FAFSA also. Um, I did most of my things with the juniors because they're about to be seniors and about to go to college. So I wanted to, um, one thing that I didn't do as well was going into senior year with scholarships. So I really wanted to um, introduce more scholarship opportunities that are out there for the juniors that are important to look at now and not later like I did. Um, and I really wanted to um, provide those resources for them and I found that that was the biggest impact that I could do um, for next year's seniors and the school in general just because uh, the school is such an already college going culture. Did you miss me? I'll take that as a yes. Now, I know this isn't normally how we would host a fly tour, but we had to adapt to the times just as much as you did. 
So today we're going to have fun, but we're still going to give you some necessary information you need to make decisions about life after high school. Before we get started, I want to thank you for all of the feedback that you gave me the last time we were face to face. I took it all in and made some changes to the show by bringing in some new co-hosts, which you guys urged me to do. So, without further ado, they're really excited to meet you. Let's take flight. <laughs> Classrooms. I see Marshall Stroma Middle. Come on, I see y'all. Of course. Okay, I see you waving in the back. Hey. Okay, right. we y'all ready floor. today? We're gonna say this right now. This isn't one side. We can totally see y'all. Y'all better get pumped because we're about to have so much fun today. Yes. So we want to see y'all's faces. We want y'all to have fun. I know it's the middle of the day. Y'all probably either ready for lunch. Or y'all just had lunch and y'all feeling that little dip but we need y'all to bring the energy up we're here we want to have some fun with y'all i think got east st john lavonia come on y'all not gonna talk back to us right okay. tara so y'all can put it in the chat y'all can interact in the chat look the first session the morning session don't have them show y'all up because they were in right. the chat they were it having was fun. Like they was we have niche. Okay, niche. I see y'all. Uh, St. John, she, they're greeting us. Hey. Whoa, what was that? Hey. Hey, guys. <laughs> All what right. Up, yeah, what's what's up? Up? Okay, Sebastian, yeah. we see, see this up, what we like up? to see. This is what we there like we to see. Go. We're definitely going to want tons of interactions. You know, we're friendly. We don't bite, especially since there's a screen here. So. <laughs> <laughs> From la last year's winners. All right, Astruma. All okay, right, Astruma, right. I see y'all. Ooh, they coming for y'all already. Ooh, they they did win. I remember at LSU, they won our last day. So y'all got some competition for real to try and keep that energy up, have fun, engage. Right. We have some great things planned for y'all. We know it's virtual, but that's not going to stop us from having a good time. Right. So... Who's first fly tour is it? Let's see some hands. Anybody right, first fly tour? This. And if put it in a chat. Okay, I see. Okay, it's Dribble Middle. I see you. Okay, let's see. Okay. Anybody else raising? Okay, okay. First All right. Today. Well, it is my first time hosting the fly tour. So we are in this together. There's people in the chat too. All right, guys, so it's my first time, too, and it's the first time that the fly tour has been held virtually. So this means that right now you guys are making history because y'all are in this with us. All right, exactly. And we're super excited for you guys to be here with us today. We want to spend some time with you guys. So if you haven't already, turn your cameras on. We want to be able to see you guys interact with each other, engage. Come on. Okay, right. okay, I see uh, we have Lincoln Prep in the building there on spring break, but they're watching via YouTube. So shout out to Lincoln Prep. Hey, Thank y'all for tuning right in. in. Hey. Okay, Please. so we're super excited to be here. Before we get started, we need to go over some quick, quick things. We need you guys to rename, you, rename yourselves. We have a graphic that's going to pop up on the screen according to this format. So that way it's easier for us to get you guys in the breakout rooms that, you're, that you need to be in. So please, please, please rename yourselves while we're getting everything set up. You're going to make it a whole lot easier on our moderators to, if you do that for us. Okay. So first things first, we need to go over some housekeeping tips to make sure that the show progresses well. All right, so first, we want to thank you all and your counselors and your teachers for attending the show today. So hand clap to you guys. Right, right. Up a nice clap, clap, clap. Yes. Or snap. Yes. There you go. And secondly, we need you all to remain muted so that everyone is able to hear the presentations and what's going on. But don't worry, there will be times mm -hmm. that we are going to ask you to unmute yourself because we're going to ask some different questions. So we want you to be involved. 
So when that happens, you can either raise your hand using the Zoom function, or we, if you have your cameras on, you can raise your hand that way and in real life on your side. <laughs> and then once you're done speaking, go ahead and mute yourself again. So that way we can let, let the next person talk. Right. And then lastly, lastly, please respect all of the presenters that will be on the sessions today. And most importantly, please respect each other and the other schools that are gonna be here today. Yeah. Because we're just here to have a fun time, guys. But wait, something's not right, because I... Hello, Miss Marla. Okay, but yes, guys, please um, work on renaming yourselves. We're gonna get started in a few minutes as we see some people renaming themselves and some people are still trying to get in. Um, we do, like Izzy said, we like that interaction. We like you guys to talk back. Otherwise, it's not going to be as fun mm -hmm. or we're going to just be talking to black screen. So we do want you guys to, you know, show your faces if you're able to, or at least mm -hmm. talk to us in the chat so we know that you're here and you hear us. So by a show of hands, how many of you guys want to go to college? Let's see. All okay. right. All right. All right. I see hands raised. All right. All right. Awesome. Now I'm going to pose the next question. How many of you know what college you want to go to? Let's see. Okay. I see All the right. hands raised. Raise the hand seen some okay. people. All right. Are... Now let me ask y'all this. How many of you know what you want to major in when you go to college? Mm. All right. I see a lot of more hands. Okay. All, All right. right. All right. Well, okay, whether Katie, or not your hand. you we were able hand. to, well, whether or not you were able to answer those questions, mm -hmm. Or maybe you still need some more time to figure that out. That's what we're here for today. So we want to put you on the right track and really get you thinking about your next steps after high school. So with that, how many of y'all know what the five-point match is? Have y'all heard of the five-point match? Maybe you, you've heard it before, but you don't quite know what it is. All right, I see some hands. Y'all know what it is, okay? Okay, right. Game. Actually, we see you, we see you. Right. Well, if you don't know what it is, we're about to give you a crash course in the five point match 101. So let me begin with saying like the last of us five point match tool helps make sure Louisiana students or scholars like you guys have everything you need to prepare for school and beyond because let's be real y'all are going to be awesome. And we just want to see some awesomeness happen. So yeah, we about to have a crash course. Consider this your first college course, crash course and five point match. So match point one at the two skills and interests is basically just discovering what you're good at. You know you, nobody knows you better than you can be you. And that's all it is using you and the skills that you possess to determine where you're headed. I know that's a lot of you, but you get the point. It's about you. <laughs> Mm -hmm. I mean, with you is two, match point two. The academic match is figuring out where you currently are in terms of your grade, mm -hmm. your GPA for my, you know, my higher grades, your ACT score, your SAT score, seeing those things that you have and determining how far you have to go to get into your dream school. And then mm -hmm. once you got into your dream school, can you afford that school? So right. we want to make sure that you can afford school without taking out huge student loan debts and minimizing the amount of money that you owe back when you finish school. Cause you know, we want you to keep those coins that you will work hard for when you graduate from college. You don't have to pay all that back. So yeah. we can do that through maximizing gift aid like grants mm -hmm. and then also applying for scholarships. So like I said, we want you to keep those coins. So we have to make sure that you can afford the school of your dreams. All yeah. right, and then my favorite one is the match point number four is the social and emotional match. Now, all right, guys, I know I'm not alone, but how many of y'all like to be social? Any hands? If you like to be social, raise y'all's hands. Let's see. All right. All right. See, I love it. So the social and emotional match is the best way to determine which college or university is the best fit for you. So this is where it comes in. It comes in the class sizes, extracurriculars. That's where that social comes in location, majors, and even distance from home. Because let's be real, some of us likes to be further from home than others. But then okay. after doing your research, this is when you ask yourself, who gets me? Which college is for me? All right, now we're going to have some more in-depth conversations in our breakout rooms with your college advocate. So my 11th graders, my juniors, y'all will be with me. And I, I believe we'll have the best breakout session. 
personally, I believe we'll have the best breakout session. And, you know, we wanted to talk to you guys, get to know a little bit more about you and how you've been handling everything. All right, Sophomores, so you, know, you guys are going to be with me, along with some of my middle school attendees, or Struma Middle. Look, come to my breakout room. Y'all already know how we get down. It's up. So, yeah, we're going to have fun. Don't listen to what John, Kayla, and Izzy say. Y'all know I'm the best here already. I'm true to this. I'm not new to this. Let's go. All right, freshmen, let's have some fun. We're going to be able to be able to talk and we're going to be able to have a lot of new information and let's be honest we're going to be the best breakout session okay we're going to, i'm going to be able to rave about y'all all right so y'all better get ready first second and third of all we already know <laughs> that the seniors been running things so the nah. senior room about to be alive thank you mm -hmm. look seniors ready look seniors don't disappoint me look i'm hyping y'all up y'all better be ready in this breakout room y'all better be ready We'll see what this thing is talking about. See, look, mm, the eighth look. grade Mr. Hardin's claims. I see y'all. I see all right, Let's all right. go. Yes, we see you. Look, y'all can't let the eighth graders, y'all can't let the eighth graders eighth be graders. more hyped than y'all. What are y'all doing? Whoa. Sebastian, what's up? You're going to be in my room. I, I see you got the fifth grade on. You're going to be in my room. What's up, Sebastian? Yeah, see. What's up? Here. All right, all right, all right, it's time to get started. We're about to get moved into those breakout rooms. And we about to just have some fun, okay? We got some necessary information that we want to get you guys. Good afternoon. Thanks for joining us for the fly tour. If you are still in this main room, that means you have not been assigned because we don't have a grade level for you. So you can either rename yourself or else you can drop your grade level in the chat to let us know which breakout room you want to go to. For our post-secondary partners, if you guys want to hang out in here, that's fine. Or if you want to go check out one of our breakout rooms, just drop a message in the chat and let me know and I'll get you moved over. Thank you.
Hi, for those that are still trickling in, you can drop in the chat to let me know what grade level you're in so we can get you placed in the correct breakout room or else you can rename yourself and put your grade level there and we can use that to get you placed in the correct breakout room. Thanks.
Hi. Hello. Hi. Which grade level should you be in? Uh, ninth grade. Ninth. Okay. Nine. Yes, ma'am. Okay, you all Thank need to you, listen. Ma'am. Look at the big screen. Get off the Chromebook. I'm coming. Okay, get off. Close down your uh, Chromebook.
I'm back. Hey. Y'all can't see. Oh, let me switch the gallery view so I can see everybody. Where my where Miss Miss Harden's eighth grade class? They had it. They was on it. Miss Lester's class at Iberia. They All was right. on. My people. Um, excuse me. Let's ready. see. I see some of my breakout classes in here. All right. I know Kayla was super active. Let's see. Let's see who's in here that was from my breakout room. All right, Park Forest Middle. I see you. All right, guys. Let's see. Is everyone back? Jai, Jai, Jai or Jai, Jai, which one is it? All right, guys. Well, I'm going to start raving about my breakout room. Like, so they did really well. They were active and everything. So we're going to give a special shout out, especially to one of the students, Kayla. She was interactive. She told us, like, she's done Unlock My Future. She was telling us about her experience about that. So I am giving her all the applause for that one. So good job for being willing to share with us in our in my breakout room. And then also we're going to have a big shout out to Park Forest Middle. I see you. Let's see. Park Forest Middle. Raise your hand if y'all heard me. Yeah. Oh, all right. All right. <laughs> see? All right. Good job, guys. So yeah, I'm ready okay. for about the freshman breakout room. Okay, okay. Hey, Jai. She said she can't unmute, but it's pronounced Jai. We featured you in our video earlier. Did you see it? We oh, that's Jai. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Girl, just so you know, you're becoming like, you're coming famous with us. <laughs> okay, okay. Kayla, what happened? Kayla, you're on mute. <laughs> what, what, what happened that in your birthday? That helpful. Jai was doing so good in our room. I didn't even realize you were on our videos earlier. Yes, she was in the room. She was answering so many questions. And you know, the seniors never come to play. They always run things. Thank you. So we had Tara High was, uh, they were active. Miss Jai, she was doing awesome. Then uh, I'm not sure who, what school they're with, but C.H. Right. Kern, and then Miss Latasha Nelson's class at Livonia. They were doing so awesome. Uh, mm -hmm. So the seniors, you know, they did, they did not come to play at all. And we had a great time. Mm -hmm. All right. I have a personal shout out for Katie. Katie at East St. John High. You know, she answered all the questions and she gave a shout out to Dreams before we even got into our session. So shout out to her. And then we have uh, you know, some more classes at East St. John High School. We have, um, who's Campo, Campo Blanco? Their class. Shout out to them too. Okay, okay. Well, my class, like I said, I had my eighth graders. I had my sophomores from Nish. I had a bunch of people. So I'm not going to do a personal shout out. I'm just going to shout out all of them because they were all on it they had the information they was getting the answers right in the games they was answering before i could even finish uh saying the question they just knew it oh and did y'all see this our youtube our students that are watching on youtube they are getting it too right so we yes. had yes. lincoln okay. prep they've right. been answering questions uh specifically uh melanie jesslyn hope i pronounced your name right you know like darren said earlier uh, don't charge it to my heart <laughs> we just you know and um and also that boy jigger good job on youtube good job now we're gonna work on the handle okay right we're yeah. gonna work on the name look y'all remember yeah. colleges are watching what y'all are putting on social media so careful with these names that y'all pick and with right, that right. being said, how uh, Kayla said colleges are watching on social media, we actually have a few of our partners from across the state on the call with us today. So y'all know how we do the fly tour. Normally we on campus and we're in some facility on their beautiful campus, but we couldn't do that. But I wanted to make sure that I still had them on the call to share information with you guys today, right now. So, but here's the catch. So we're not gonna tell you what schools are on the call. You're going to have to figure that out. So we're gonna give you, a, we're gonna play some videos that's going to give you some clues. And then from those clues, that's how you'll pick which breakout room you want to go into.
All right, exciting stuff. So listen closely to the clues and information that is presented in the video and step out of your comfort zone to check out some schools that you might not have been interested in before the video because they might be the perfect school for you. Yes, yes, yes. Our university is test optional and tuition is just under $12,000. To help freshman students transition from high school to college, we have the University Center for Freshman Year, the Office of Retention and Student Success, and the Genesis Mentoring Program. Popular programs of study are kinesiology, engineering, pre-law, pre-vet, pre-med, pre-nursing, psychology, and music. My college has open admissions, which means all students who have a high school diploma can apply. And recently, a higher education research firm ranked our college as one of the nation's top 50 community colleges. And students that are here, look forward to Crawl Fest and Community College Week. Did I mention our colors are green and yellow? My university can be found in the oldest city in the Louisiana Purchase. LASPA's executive director, Dr. Suwan Bute, is an alumna of my university. LSU's head football coach is also an alumnus. Students look forward to the Color Chaos War on campus and the Inferno Run. Most students who enroll in my institution are interested in studying nursing or criminal justice. Coach Eddie Robinson is recognized all over our campus for his contributions to the game of football. Alumni from all over the world swarm campus for our annual homecoming. Erica Badu is a notable alumna of the place where everybody is somebody. All right, all right. That was y'all clues. So what do y'all think? We're going to have them. You don't have to answer. Just, you know, kind of move into the breakout room that you think you figured out and you'll see if you were right. So we're going to get that set up really quickly. Um, if you can't move yourself, simply drop it in the chat. And the other advocates and our moderators are going to work on getting you where you need to go. And for my people on YouTube, you won't be able to see the breakout sessions, but your advocates will be here to keep you company while they're going over some college information. We'll be going over some things too that you'll need to know. Okay. <laughs> so we're going to give them a few minutes to get settled into the different rooms. Again, again, I just got to give a special shout out to Miss Melanie Colvin and Lincoln Prep. They're on spring break, y'all, and they're tuned in via Google Classroom and YouTube just to spend some time with us. So special shout out to y'all again. That's awesome. Um, yes. I got you. Okay. I great. Marla, where you guys want to go? Fish, fifth graders, what breakout session do you guys want to go to?
Dolphin, the purple hair guy, and tiger number two. Y'all want to break our rooms? Y'all want to stay? We, we love y'all. We want y'all to stay here with us, but we do want y'all to get some information from our post-secondary partners. Let I got you, Katie. I'm with you right now. Okay, Glenn Trotman, let's get you to LSU. Sebastian, where do you want to go? Sebastian wants to go to LSU. All right, on. All right, now if y'all tell me where y'all want to go, I'm gonna just start putting y'all. <laughs> <laughs> Generate high school, where you guys want to go? LSU, let me find you. Get you guys up. Oh. Marcia, Michelle, Marcia, Brandon. I moved him already. Okay, great. I want to go to community college for nursing or beauty. We're perfect, Kayla. We have Delgado on the line. I'm not sure if they have those programs, but they'll be able to tell you. So let's they get you. They have nursing in. for sure. Boom, let's get you in there, Kayla. <laughs> Stephanie Cutman, Liberty High, 10th through 12th graders. Where you guys want to go? All right, Mrs. Sparks class at Park Middle, not Park Middle, Park Forest Middle. What breakout room you guys want to go to? Does it matter? Okay. Ty every year. I hope I said your name right. You are junior. What school, what class, what breakout room session you want to go to? Okay. Thanks. Got All right, so, let's see. so do we have almost everyone? Yeah, you yeah. can go ahead and get started. All right. So make, make sure that you're putting in the chat and one of the advocates, uh, either Darren, John, Izzy, or our moderators will put you into a room. Yep. So while they are doing that, so for our our family on YouTube, you know, we don't want to leave y'all out of the party. So, of course, we have some information to share with you. So let me get it set up for you because we want to make sure that you're getting all the same information that everyone here is getting. So in our first breakout rooms, we went through some important checklists to make sure that you are prepared for college so and even starting your freshman year so we are future thinking so we're not just uh going to say that oh your senior year is when you prepare for college no 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 okay. our middle schoolers are preparing freshmen sophomore juniors seniors everyone is we are forward thinking so starting with our freshmen mm -hmm. so we want to start with strong grades right so we know that by the time you get to your senior year, I mean, not y'all, of course, because, you know, y'all aren't going to get tired, right? But if you start with strong grades, then you, when you get towards the end, maybe if there's a class that you struggle with a little bit more, that you didn't get as high a grade that you want, you have some, some help, some cushion there. So starting with strong grades and building those uh those strong study skills are very important. So start right out the gate with those strong grades that will be looked at when you're applying for scholarships, applying for admissions, 
uh, to the college or university of your dreams. Next, you'll want to utilize Unlock My Future. So I heard some of our students in the breakout room have already in the breakout rooms had already started using Unlock My Future. Mm -hmm. So this is a quiz uh, through our office where it helps you start thinking about your skills and interests, and it gives you um, some careers at, mm -hmm. after you finish the quiz. It gives you some careers that you may be interested in. Now remember. When you're taking career quizzes and career tests, that it's not set in stone. It's not telling you this is what you're going to be when you graduate or when you go to college. All it is is getting you started to start thinking about things that may interest you because you have these other interests outside of school. Uh, so they may transfer over to being a career that you really enjoy. Mm -hmm. So remember, as you're taking those, those quizzes and those tests, don't get too overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not set in stone that that's what you're going to be. You just need to get your wheels spinning because there are so many careers out there uh, that you can do and enjoy. And well, like a really good like example of that is like in one of my breakout sessions, like you were saying earlier, she took the Unlock My Future every year and she got something different. One year she was nursing, another one she was like a designer and it just changes. And that's the fun thing about it. Yeah, so as, as your skills and your interests change and you learn more about yourself, mm -hmm. you might realize that there's a many different areas that you might find yourself in. Mm -hmm. So next is get to know your guidance counselor, especially if you have a guidance counselor that follows your class so that you'll have from your freshman year to your se senior year. Um, because once you get to your senior year, your guidance counselor will be very important in getting letters of recommendation, helping you get letters of recommendation. They may be the one writing your letter of recommendation. Um, also, your guidance counselor uh, generally is going to help you to make sure uh, that you are on the right track for your prerequisites that you may need for a college that you're interested in. Uh, they also can help you uh, with resources and they may have uh, resources for scholarships and uh, just college prep things that they have access to. So definitely get to know your guidance counselors. They are very valuable uh, to help you as you are future thinking uh, mm -hmm. to what's going to happen after high school. Next is find resources. So our office is a great place to start. So LASPA is a great resource, resource for you. Also, your individual advocate, we are a resource mm -hmm. for you. So you can follow us on Instagram at, at, at mymlca dot, and then you'll do your um, respective class. So freshmen, sophomores, juniors, and seniors. Kayla, I'll type it okay. in the YouTube chat. So yeah, please type it in the box. I know I just stumbled all over <laughs> my words just now. Thank you, John. Teamwork. <laughs> so next, uh, with finding resources, you there's a lot of different websites out there, and there's a lot of different, and we have uh, links to websites on our website uh, that will help you find resources of things like this, a college prep checklist to help you prepare for college and things you need to do. Mm -hmm. Next, you really want to start exploring your interests. Uh, so it's a, as even as a freshman, try different things, try new things. If you've always felt like, oh, I, I don't know how to draw, but I, I kind of want to learn how explore that, you know, explore different things that you may have always wanted to try. And you'll be surprised what you can do. It's really important to get to know yourself and to get to know what you're good at, what you like, what you don't like, as you're going on that career exploration journey. And then lastly, for the freshmen, create a student hub account. So at the end of your freshman year, if your school submits a transcript information to the state every year, then you can create a student hub account. This is a tracker through LASPA for the TOPS award. Uh, so it just shows you where your core GPA stands, what courses you've taken, and what you have left to take to make sure that you're on track for eligibility for TOPS by your senior year. So that way you're not missing courses that you'll need um, to complete. Uh, so not every freshman at the end of their freshman year will be able to have one. 
but generally by your junior year and definitely by your senior year, you will have a student hub uh, that you can register for to be able to see uh, where you are on that top tracker. So these are our, our quick checklist for our freshmen. So advocates, what, what advice do y'all have for the freshmen? Don't be afraid to get your feet wet. Basically just be willing to try new things. Um, and just like, like I was saying in the others, like in the other session, it's just my theme for today is get out the comfort zone. Um, you know, be prepared, start strong, you know, and one thing that I feel like is also important that we talked about in the last one though, that Kayla mentioned is find something that motivates you. Like find like your, um, like almost like a dream college board thing. Like you want to get here, you need this, this, and this. And that helps encourage you to be, um, to look forward towards something, to get towards a goal. And that helps with motivation. Cause I know freshman year is like really exciting, but sometimes it's hard to stay motivated and focused with all the new things happening. Yeah. And if you, and just, I see we have some uh, with our people that are on YouTube. Remember this is live. We are here in person. So if you have comments or questions that you want us to answer during this segment, put it in the comments on the live and we have moderators that are uh, watching those comments. So we're, we are here, we're, we're real. <laughs> so mm -hmm. make sure you're interacting with us on YouTube as well. Thank you so much, Izzy. John mm. or Darren, did y'all have anything y'all want to add for our freshmen? Yeah, oh. freshmen, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go. <laughs> for the <laughs> freshmen, I'll say, uh, don't be afraid to ask questions. It's a lot of information. It's a lot that it might be daunting. Being a freshman, you're like, oh, why am I hearing about college? It's good to start early, but of course you're going to have questions, so don't be afraid to ask questions. You can ask, you know, Izzy, your freshman advocate. Mm -hmm. You can ask your guidance counselor. You know, that's what they're there for. Don't be afraid to ask questions. There's no stupid questions when it comes to your future. That is very true. Um, for me, I would say gummy bears. They help. No, I'm just kidding. But um, yeah, freshman year, it's fun. It's new. You're excited, a little nervous. So just take a minute you know, internalize and then go with the flow, you know, meet new people, step out of your comfort zone. Everything John Kayla and Izzy State are all good things to do as well, but learn your school, learn your teachers, your counselors, your administration, because all these people have your best interest at heart. So that's my take on freshman year. Awesome. So next we have our sophomores. So mm -hmm. with our sophomores, we are going to continue to keep our grades up. And sophomore year is really a great time to start learning your learning style. So everyone learns differently. So you may be a person that you need to hear something mm -hmm. um, to understand it. You may need to hear it and see it. You may need a diagram. You may need to do something with your hands. So maybe you need to physically write it out um, or maybe you need to build something. So just start to learn the best ways for you to learn. And that may look different in different courses. Mm -hmm. So there may be courses that come to you very in easy. So like English, you may be able to write a paper very quickly, but you may struggle in science. So you start to learn that there's different learning styles and figure out what works best for you. So that way you can keep those grades up. And also don't be afraid to ask for help and to go to tutoring. Um, so there's nothing wrong if you need help in a particular subject. So just don't be afraid to do that. Mm -hmm. Then next, we want to start our college resumes. So our college resume is going to be different from a, what you would think of as a traditional resume where it's all of your job experience. For a college resume, we're look, they're looking at your extracurricular activities. So have you done volunteer work? Um, you know, have you won any awards? Um, what are you involved in? And that doesn't have to necessarily just be uh, on campus at your high school. You may be a part of a community organization outside of your high school where you volunteer. Mm -hmm. uh, so there, you know, you may volunteer with your church or with a, a organization that your parents are a part of and different things like that. So make sure that you are writing down all those different things that you do because often by the time you get to your senior year, you can't remember all the things that you did each semester. So maybe one semester you were in the school play and then another semester you did 30 hours of volunteer work. Start writing all of those things down, mm -hmm. make a file on your computer so you can keep that. 
Um, and it also serves as a brag sheet. So you can come back to it and say, mm -hmm. oh, wow, like I really did a lot of things while I was in high school. So by the time you get to your senior year, you don't, you can remember all the things that you've done. And, you know, also it helps like when you're kind of feeling down on yourself that, okay, hey, wait, I know I've done things. You can go back and refer to that and know that you're accomplishing a lot while you're in high school. Next, you want to join sports teams and clubs. So you, so joining sports teams and clubs is a great way to meet friends. It's great way to have fun. You learn how to, uh, how to work as a team, which is super important as you grow through your high school career, your college career, and your career career. Uh, working as a team is super important. So joining clubs and teams and uh, being social with people is very helpful and it's a lot of fun uh, and provides those opportunities for you to build that college resume as well. Next, you want to take the pre-ACT to start preparing for the ACT. Mm -hmm. So just how when you take your first test with your high school uh, teachers and you're like, oh my goodness, I don't know what this teacher is asking for. I don't know what this means. I feel like we didn't learn any it feels like we didn't learn anything, you know, that is on this test because you're not used to those questions that they're asking, right? But then as you take those, as you take the, the test more and more, their test, then you get it. Like you understand, okay, this is how, what they're asking for. It's the same thing with the ACT. As you take the ACT more and more and you take the, do the practice ACTs, you start to know what they're asking for. And then it's not as scary next time you go to take it. And right. you can more than likely get through it a little bit faster each time. Right. And then they also provide like a lot of hints and tips of how to get through it quicker, like methods. Like I know one method is doing the easiest first or first and then getting to the harder like questions. And it just gives you more time to be able, like you were saying, to get to all of them. So absolutely. So next during the summer, during sophomore year, you might want to start looking into summer jobs and you might, or you, or job shadowing. So you job shadowing is where you can follow a professional and you could ask them, you know, can I come to your office for one hour a week uh, and just learn about what you do? So John, Darren, Izzy, did any of y'all do have summer jobs or job shadowing between your sophomore and junior year? Oh, oh yeah, totally. You can go, uh, Darren. I yes, I served as a summer camp counselor with little, um, you know, younger kids like K through maybe third grade, and so that helped me out a lot. Just working with, because I don't have any younger siblings, so it was a little, it was a task, but mm -hmm. it allowed me to just, you know, see kids from in a different light. I did that. Um, was it paid? I don't think so. I think so. It was more volunteer work. <laughs> So yeah, that's what I did sometimes over my summers, or I went to, um, what do you call it? I'm trying to think, dance camps, or like um, sessions where we spent weeks at a time learning from different choreographers and stuff like that. So I did stuff like extracurricular stuff like that too over my summers. That's awesome. Yeah, I remember I did some volunteer opportunities over the summer. I volunteered at nursing homes. I did the Special Olympics one year and then a summer job that I had that I've mentioned before is I worked with computers at my high school. I took them apart and I figured out what was wrong with them and it gave me an idea of like what I liked and what I didn't like about tech like in that aspect of like technology and uh, it, it, it did help. I liked it a lot. I had a similar experience to Izzy of uh, my the end the summer after my sophomore year I did job shadowing with uh, one of my cousins that worked in uh, information systems, so technology. And I was with him for about three days. And the beautiful part about it was the fact that I learned, oh, I'm not into this. So I was able to form, you know, a new idea of what I wanted to do ahead of time before I went to college. But that experience, uh, just finding out, okay, even though I might like technology, I don't like this form of it. I was able to figure out, you know, find something I did like. Mm -hmm. Awesome. So then within that June, sophomore year as well, you need to also start thinking about taking your dual enrollment and AP courses. So you have to meet certain requirements in order to be eligible to take dual enrollment courses, which are for college credit. So you get to take college courses while you're still in high school. And 
that will count as college credit. So Mm -hmm. the more dual enrollment courses you have, and as you do well in those courses, you make sure you want to do well in them. You're starting out with a college GPA. So that means you may also be able to uh, graduate sooner, which means that you may not have to take out as much student loans uh, and you can graduate with a minimum amount of student debt, uh, which is awesome. So those dual enrollment courses and then the AP courses for college credit are a great way to prepare for your future. And I know, John, did not did you take dual enrollment courses when you were in high school? Yes, I took uh, dual enrollment and AP. And just like Kayla said, it can save you a lot of money and a lot of time because I was able to graduate uh, with my undergraduate degree a semester early. And I mean, who, who, who can beat that? You can't beat that. So look into dual enrollment, ask your counselors about it, ask your teachers, see what tests you have to take in order to get into these dual enrollment programs. And you should guys, you should guys should try them out. They're not as bad. They're, they might be college classes, but you'll definitely see that you have the ability to, you know, perform well. Yes, yes, yes. Time and money, two things you cannot get back. So I would suggest right. taking the dual enrollment and AP courses. Absolutely. Get a head start. So, yes. Okay. So now we're moving on to our juniors. So, Izzy, do you want to start us off with our juniors? Absolutely. I would be more than honored to talk about the juniors. So, all right, guys. So, as you know, like, juniors is John's specialty because he's the junior advocate. And just so you all know, check out his Instagram because this is his stuff right here. But, okay, guys, so let's start from the top. So we're gonna start with the ACT, SAT. And junior year is a really good time to start taking it because you wanna have some time, like if you didn't get the the score you wanted, you have still the rest of junior year and senior year to get to it. Because with certain scholarships, you need to meet a minimum. I know with TOPS, if y'all don't know what TOPS is, it's a scholarship made for uh, LSU residents and students just like you guys. And you need to have at least a 20 for now. Louisiana for residents. And Louisiana students, residents. Not just I, LSU. <laughs> did I say LSU? <laughs> it's Louisiana. Louisiana <laughs> residents. Louisiana residents. The L, I don't know. I was thinking about something else. But Louisiana residents like you guys. So sorry, guys. Louisiana residents. And you need like, for now, it's a 20. So if you start taking the ACT and SAT now, you can start getting, trying to work to get that level of, um, award, like the, your level that you want. So then the next one is start exploring colleges and majors. Junior year, like I said, one more year till you graduate. So this is a perfect time for you to start looking at colleges, looking around at which one is has a major that you would like, because some colleges are different than the others. Some colleges have majors that the other one doesn't. So this is the time now to see which is the one that I want to work for and make sure that I can lock in and go there. So that's really important start exploring. Like I said, you can never learn too much about colleges in your junior year. So then the next one is consider, Mm -hmm. go ahead. Yeah. And with exploring colleges and majors, really start writing down that list of all the ones that you think that you want to uh, go to uh, Mm -hmm. even and explore a lot of different types of colleges and universities. And if you don't know what major you want yet, just start writing your list of careers and that will help you figure out what major you want to go into. Absolutely. And then the common one that you can see across all our lists is getting involved in clubs, sports, and leadership roles. Like these are really important, especially in junior year, as you're just starting to slowly integrate, kind of middle, but slowly integrate into college, just like making sure that you're able to make connections. Networking is super important. And also, Caleb mentions this a lot and it's like really important is find yourself a leadership role. And what I say is don't be intimidated by the leadership role. It's a time and an opportunity for you to find a place, be able to learn how to like lead people or find what you think works best for a team. And if you're not sure and you're uncertain about it, like look for a mentor to help you navigate that aspect of it. It's just really good to have, especially when you're going to college and being able to navigate. It's a really absolute important attribute. And I think some of the advocates can tell you a little bit about their leadership roles as Kayla was in high school. And um, I'm not sure if Darren or John were a part of that too. Um, Yeah, leadership roles, high school. Yes. So um, again, like I said, I was into performing arts and throughout my junior and senior year, I served as a dance club president. Um, I was leads in school plays. 
So think about your own different, you know, assets, you know, referring back to match point one, your aptitude, skills and interests, you know, find forge your own leadership path in the things that you like to do. So not necessarily if you not don't like sports. You don't have to go try out for the football team to become captain, hold that leadership role, do what you like to do. So that's how I kind of use my leadership roles outside of my creativity. I did science club and other different clubs, leadership that hold leadership positions like that. And John, since the the juniors are your area, do you want to go ahead and finish us out with our junior checklist? Oh, for sure. Okay, so uh, leadership roles, I'm not going to just finish that one up. I actually, in high school, I didn't do uh, have leadership roles. Uh, I was more so the background person. I didn't like being up front. I was able to, you know, uh, gain those, you know, a want to be in the front later in life. But definitely, if you are the type of person that likes to be in the background, there is, you know, a lot of benefits to being in the background and you're needed for sure. Mm -hmm. So the next one is explore summer opportunities. So summer opportunities, that's the perfect time during the summer. You might not, you know, be taking classes. That's the perfect time for you to spend the time that you have uh, exploring just different things like job shadowing. Uh, you possibly can have a job year, uh, the summer after your junior year. Get that experience uh, and you can learn how to save money You'll be making money, learn how to save it before you go to college because, uh, you know, managing your money is a very essential uh, part of the college experience. So you guys want to get those experiences early on. The next one is scheduled campus visits. A lot of these are virtual now. So you can even uh, look at the inst institutions that you're interested in and find their virtual um, campus tours. And those are great. You can see how the campus looks. You can look at their facilities. You can look at some of their classrooms and you can decide, oh, I really like how this school looks. I want to learn more about it. Or you could say, you know, I don't really like how this school looks. Um, I don't really, you know, enjoy their facilities. Let me look into some more and then you can find the right match and fit for you. And then the last one is explore scholarship opportunities. It's not too early, your junior year, to explore scholarship opportunities. Um, you can look and see some, even if you're can't apply for them until your senior year, you will uh, see what GPA you need. You can work to make sure you uh, have the right GPA. You can work to make sure you have the right ACT score, SAT score, uh, your letters of recommendations. You can get those early on, community service if that's what's needed. You can work on all those things ahead of time to where when it, the time comes, that's not something that you're rushing to get and you can get the money. We're, we're looking to get money. This is the FLA tour, financial literacy mm -hmm. for you. We want you to get money. Right, right. So lastly, we want, but save the best for last, we want our seniors to make sure that they get this information. Some of the, uh, so the groups are about to start coming back, but we're going to go through this checklist quickly with you. We also have it posted on our Instagram pages. And if you have additional questions, please reach out to us and we'll be happy to help you. So one for the seniors, get that FAFSA completed. Do mm -hmm. not leave money on the table. If you have not done your FAFSA yet and you are a senior, do it today, right now. Don't wait. <laughs> if you need help, please reach out to us and we will get you in contact with uh, how to do a one-on-one -on -one session with us, uh, with one of our last representatives for that FAFSA completion help. Next, you want to look after you're getting your acceptance letters, make sure that that school is offering the best costs and aid. So don't just look at, can I pay cover tuition and fees? You wanna make sure that you can also have extra funds to pay for food, housing, books, and things like that. So tuition and fees is the minimum of what you need to pay to not just survive while you're in college, but to thrive and to do well. Next is, can you see yourself on campus? So as you're getting your acceptance letters and you're making those decisions, you really have to do some introspection and think about what means the most to you on a college campus. Do you want to be involved? Do you want to be in a small town, a big town, a big city? Do you want to have a great football team or sports big for you that you want to attend? Um, do you want to be in a city that has a lot going on? Or do you want something that's, you know, a little bit calmer? Do, can you feel like you have a community there? Next, then do you need to retake the ACT and SAT? So remember, each institution and each scholarship will have different deadlines for the ACT and S SAT. So make sure that you're checking those deadlines, okay? And then did you sign up for orientation? 
So we talked about dual enrollment credits. And when you go to orientation, that's when you meet with an advisor and that's when they are going to have you schedule your first semester of classes. So make sure that you have that dual enrollment information ready and available for you, for them, so that you're not put, getting put into classes that you already have credit for. Uh, so you don't want to retake anything so that you don't have to. So make sure that you have all your dual enrollment and your AP credits ready to go when it's time for you to go to orientation. And if you've already received your acceptance letter, you may already have notifications about scheduling early orientation. But orientation, generally, they'll have sessions all the way through the summer. So don't miss that orientation deadline either. And lastly, did you complete your scholarship requirements? And also with that, your, your financial aid requirements. So scholarships may ask for additional documentation for verification. Mm -hmm. And your financial aid office at the school that you've been accepted to may ask for documentation for verification. You want to make sure that you get that information in as soon as possible and by the deadlines and to meet any type, any loose ends. So that way you can pay your fee bill, which will come out during the summer. So that way you're not kicked out of your courses for not having a paid fee bill. So that way you are in the seat for the first day of fall and you're starting your college career on the right foot as easy as possible with the least amount of worries besides just doing well in your courses. So we are so happy to have had mm -hmm. everyone here. And like I said, I know we kind of went through that quickly. So if you're on YouTube and you have questions that you want us to talk about a little bit more, we can answer those for you. Just leave us a comment and we will get back to you with the information that you need. So I think that everyone is starting to come back. All righty, let's see. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. So did you guys get some useful information from our post-secondary partners? I know. Let's see, yeah. Park Forest, let's see. Thumbs what up. Y'all got some good information there? All right, I saw a hand raised. Good job, good job. All right, we got a yes in the comments. All right, awesome, guys. Okay. Well, I'm going to go ahead and say, well, it looks like we're almost getting ready to wrap. We're almost ready to wrap up. We hope, like we said, you had fun with us today and gained some new information that will help you as you navigate through high school or for those that are going to go into high school soon and life after high school. All right. Yes, we want to thank you all for participating with us and a huge shout out to our post-secondary partners for giving us their time today. So hand clap for them. Right, 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 right. Yes. And seniors, there are only a few weeks left of high school. Time is ticking. So please be right. sure that you are dotting your I's and crossing mm -hmm. your T's. And, you know, the juniors and sophomores, they're trying to come for y'all in the chat, but we all know that the seniors are the best. Come we on. We all know it already. Uh, I see you breakout room. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes y'all. Um, again, thank you so much for tuning into the first ever virtual fly mm -hmm. tour experience. Um, we want to thank you guys for tuning in. We want to thank our post-secondary partners. A um, few things that I need you guys to do for me before we dismiss. So one, I need you guys to follow us on social media. We dropped the um, names in the chat, right? So it'll be at MLCA.YourRespective classes. For my middle schoolers, follow all four of them because you're going to get to those levels eventually. Um, again, follow us on YouTube. Subscribe to our channel at YouTube, not YouTube, at LASFA1000. You'll see more of us. You see it's popping up on the screen. You'll see more of us, the different things we like to do. We do do episodes of My Life for College Advocate. So we're not always live. We do do episodes and you can check out some of the previews and more of the people's stories that you saw this morning or early on in the session. And again, please, please, please save your money. Be ready for college access. And yeah, we're here for advice, tips, and resources. We're always here for you guys. Mm -hmm. You guys I hope the great. next time, yes, great. I hope the next time that we do this, we'll be back face to face, mm -hmm. making memories and having fun on a college campus near you. Yes, but until then, make sure that y'all are finishing strong with those grades. Make great. sure that you are staying healthy, healthy and make sure that you're taking care of yourselves. And we will yeah. see y'all next time. Right. Bye, y'all. All right. Bye, everybody. Bye, y'all. All right, guys. See y'all later.